All right, I just replaced my calipers on my uh, Cayenne. There's plenty of information out there for it. I'm documenting this for me as well, but it looks like my calipers are gray. I think that is important. Um, I picked up some uh, rear calipers. I think they're 330 millimeters, around about that. They're like, what is it, 12 inches? And the fronts are like 14 inches, which is like 358 or 360 or something like that. You'll have to check the specs. But uh, the ones I got were from uh, O'Reilly's Import Direct. And the big thing is, I don't know if the rear is supposed to have directional fans, fins in them. But this one's straight up, so there is no left and right. Uh, my front ones definitely do have left and right. The back ones may not be that way. But just to know, if you are putting them in and they're directional, um, mine didn't have any marks on it, like on the front. But basically, if the fin's going like that, just pretend like you're grabbing air. And when it's spinning in the direction, it's going to start airing the brakes out. If you had it backwards, it's not going to grab the air. And maybe I got that backwards, but that's the way I understood it and the way I read it. Um, I'll put in the specs as far as what size uh, tools I used. Um, this brake looks like it's a little bit different than my other one. I think this is from early Cayenne. Um, but you got that. That's what holds the rotor in place. Don't really need it because the uh, brake caliper does is, does it anyways. I think I like Dodge and stuff to use like a, a snap ring or something like that. Uh, just some kind of thing to hold it in place. But your wheels hold it in place. And, and once uh, corrosion settles in, um, they'll be held in with that. Uh, I picked up Brimo brakes off of Amazon. It came with everything I needed. The other debate or question is, what do I torque these at? Um, I torqued them at, what was it, 86, 88? I torqued them right at 90. Um, these are the gray brakes, I think, uh, for a base model. Like I say, the color kind of matters because I believe the higher, I think black is S and red is his turbo, it could be wrong, but uh, that's the way it was in certain years. And also, um, so anyway, I did 8690 there, and that felt about right, taking them off and the noises it makes. I don't think I should go anymore. Um, I'll try to look in more depth, but right now I feel that 8690 is right where it should be, just the, the way the sound of the bolt. Um, and then also, if you notice, normally uh, you get, at least my last Cayenne, or my, 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 let me rephrase it. My uh, 2004 had a two sensor and I ordered this from Amazon and it has two. Nor the, the one that came off the car is one. So we're gonna see what happens. But regardless, uh, it took me five minutes to figure this out or a few minutes in a hot weather. But your best bet if you have a dual sensor, which I don't think it would matter. If you have single or dual, it just gives you more information. But be mindful that if the easiest way to do this is uh, from the other side where the cable's at, you put that in first from the inside, snap it in or whatever, and then from the outside, after the brake pad is in, push that in with the meat side on that side, and uh, and then snap it in with the uh, um, with a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, if you need to, to settle it. That's That's what I did, and if you're trying to do them both from the other side. I don't think, my hands are not baby dolls hands and there's just no way in the world I could get them in. Uh, the one side definitely, but the, the cables are not long enough. And so I'm hoping the cable's long enough for this one, because like I said, it was designed for, it said it fit my car. We'll see what happens. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. We'll find out all the worst it could be is it breaks. So then, um, let's see here. I bent the crap out of that trying to get that off. I don't know. If you look at other people's videos, they kind of done the same thing. But basically, um, with the other cable, with the shorter end, there's two spots here. The one in the back, you just kind of rotate it in, and that'll hold it into place. And then snap in your, uh, snap in your part, rotate right in your place, and then put that one in. If I got it backwards, sorry. but And then I'll probably bend that back a little bit. Um, but it just seemed like it was stuck and I bend it back. And I'm not the only one. Uh, some of the other cars I've seen, those are that piece is snapped off. So mine's a virgin. It hasn't been broke off yet. So I think we're in good shape. 
put the wheels back on, pump the brakes, and we'll go from there. I My wife's owned this car for six years, and I evidently have never replaced the backs. These are the, I don't know when they were replaced before. They didn't look like factory brakes, but obviously the fronts don't last as long because it looks like the fronts are about ready to go. So I took my other brakes, like I'm gonna do these, took them to Riley. I'm gonna have them um, true them up if, if they're still uh, savable. I think it costs like 20, 30 bucks. I did the fronts that way, kept the box, kept them on a mat, and then now they're ready to put back on. I just need to buy some brim, uh, Brimbo uh, uh, pads. They're, I think they're about 50 some bucks. I was kind of shocked. Hopefully they're real stuff. Um, but everything was packaged very nice. I never had a, a packaging like that. It comes with stickers and, and actually the, um, the uh, uh, anti-squeal um, juice and, uh, or paste or whatever you want to call it. And uh, if I didn't use it, I already had some of my own. Uh, so I'll just keep that for a rainy day. And it looks like my bucket's stuck right now, so I'm gonna have to lift the car up and pull both buckets out. All right, guys, uh, let's see what happens. Don't forget, pump your brakes. Don't go through your garage door. Bye. All right, so for the rotor, this holds it in. I believe that was a T50. And then for the uh, calipers, it was a 14 millimeter. Um, I think it's a triple square. Um, but that's what I used and they fit well. Good luck. Uh, plus, obviously, I think you have a 19 millimeter for the wheels. Yep. Good luck. Gonna need to do a healthy wash, but I wanted to point out if you noticed, looks like they um, sprayed the hub gray, which is super nice touch, and they got it over the um, the rotor as well. But not a big deal. But just heads up when you're testing your brakes, um, if they had sprayed on it, the brakes are not going to stop as good as they would normally would after you pump them up and make sure they go. Wasn't a problem with me. I was going down the road. Um, uh, breaking them in as you could say but just a heads up that uh, some companies might spray the hub to keep uh, the uh, from corroding anyway uh, cheers and uh, happy break as always please subscribe